Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. Well, we got an experiment with the Luba today. So I wanted to see if I could operate it on solar power. And I'm already kind of running into a snag. I have two of these 200 watt solar panels and um, it just will not fit in my car. So we're gonna have to go a different route. Here's what I'm thinking. So I got this 200 watt portable solar panel I actually have two of these I'm just gonna do one for now and we'll just see how it works and I got this EcoFlow Pro down here and I'm not exactly sure which way I'm going to go right now because I do have this homemade giant battery pack here that's solar chargeable I got two 100 amp hour batteries in there I got an inverter and a charge controller and this stuff is just living inside this here now that's plenty of capacity but that's a whole lot to lug around I'm hoping that this can do the job except this can't really sit outside so we'll have to figure that out now it's not going to be raining here probably anymore throughout the rest of the summer because we don't get summer rain usually but i still need to be careful with that because i'm not sure i don't think this can get wet there's no protection for getting wet the stuff in this box isn't supposed to get wet either but at least it has this box so anyway we'll have to figure some of this out when we get over there to where luba is so let me get things packed up here. Let me get the duck in the car and also get this back in the house since I can't take it. Now, if I do end up needing more solar power, I can lay these back seats down and I'm sure that'll fit. It's just, I don't wanna leave duck at home today. I wanna bring him with me. So, and he, he wants me to bring him with me too. <laughs> don't you? You want to go see Mimi and Papa? Yeah, he he's ready to go see Mimi and Papa. So let me get this out of the car. Get Duck loaded in the car. Not yet, buddy. And I will see you at the other house. We've made it here to my parents' house and no Luba. Let's go out here in the backyard and see if we can figure out what has gone wrong. I know where it got stuck, actually, because it got stuck here before. Look at this nicely Luba mode lawn here. So back here in this section, it gets stuck on this upside down trampoline flower bed thing my mom has made. It gets one wheel over and it just gets stuck there. So we're gonna have to remap this area so that uh, Luba doesn't go over that. Luba is completely dead here. Now is a great time to see how much juice it takes out of my battery pack to fully charge Luba. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over here, get the solar panel set up, and get the battery pack ready, and we're going to see how much it takes to charge Luba. So for the solar panel part of things, I'll be using a all powers solar panel. It's uh, 200 watts supposedly on a perfect day and it has four sections that looks like this. Now it also does have little feet that can prop out and it will stand up on the ground or it has these little connection points here you can hang it on something. That's what I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna hang it on the that fence. Now you can see it's a little afternoon here and the sun is directly over and I'm not really gonna get much afternoon sun. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna face it to the east and get the morning sun. I may put it on the ground. I may attach it to the fence there. We'll just see how it works out here. 
So this is good enough for the temporary thing I'm doing here. We'll just leave it sitting here on the ground like that. It's, uh, it, it's in as much sun as it's going to get in the morning up until probably 1 in the afternoon and then it'll be at a disadvantage. You looking for somewhere cool? It is over 100 degrees right now. But Luba just mowed this front part yesterday. This half over here was mowed at 2 inches and this half over here was mowed at 1.8. My dad likes it mowed a little shorter. He said that he felt like the two was too long so we dropped it down to 1.8 and that looks about perfect for this Bermuda grass it's mostly Bermuda there's some weeds in there too but uh yeah these are nice luba lines certainly makes the lawn look pretty good <laughs> hmm it missed a it missed one line in the whole yard. Look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect one line. Interesting. Now this isn't a dividing line between zones. That's much further over there. I'm not sure why it didn't come back and get this line. Here's what I think happened. Let me stand back under this tree in the shade. The battery ran out when it had this one strip left last night to do. And it went to charge. I let it charge for a while and told it to continue when it was about at 60%. I let it go for maybe an hour and I'm like, I don't need it. It doesn't need to charge all the way up. I will just continue it when it's at 60%. And then, when I hit continue, I think it was the scheduled time to do the backyard. So it started doing the backyard first instead of coming back right away. And then it got trapped in the backyard because it got stuck. So that is what I think happened. It was Maybe it was going to plan to come back out here and get this. And it just never got the chance because it got stuck and then the battery died. And we all know... Once the battery dies, it's not going to remember about this. This one little strip is going to just sit here until the next time it mows because there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, Momotion does have ambitions, I hear, to enable spot mowing in the app, but that has not been activated yet, obviously. So in order for me to mow this one little strip, I would have to have it re-mow this whole section here. So I digress. My ADHD got the best of me. Let's get back to the solar panel project. That's what I'm supposed to be focusing on today, but you know, I saw these beautiful Luba lines out here and had to come investigate. Luba's kind of chunky, so I think I'm going to hop on this bad boy and go get the trailer. What do we got? 60% battery? Ah, oh, we're good. And just go in reverse. The trailer's just right over here. We got the Luba rescue device here. Only the 100% proper security here. There we go. There we go. That's why uh, Luba's camera is not a very clear picture because it's kind of dirty. So let's go ahead and get Luba's fat butt up in here. All right, we got Luba in tow here. Let's get it back to the charging station and we will find exactly 
how much juice it uses because we're going to plug it up to the battery. So I got my solar panel and my EcoFlow hooked up. You can see with the solar panel on the other side, we are only getting 14 watts of input out of that 200 watt panel. Now let me show you. It's just sitting here on the other side of the fence. I use two zip ties on either end to just secure it to a fence panel there and then underneath the little legs I got just propped they're propping it against the wall so 14 watts isn't very good I was hoping that it would do better than that in the shade but it doesn't so I may go get the other panel out of the car and put on this side of the fence we'll see we'll see we'll just let it go with this one for now and see how much it actually is able to keep up with Luba I do have the EcoFlow set to only charge to 90 percent you can see here on the screen it is at 90 percent so I can change that in the app uh, I'll probably set it to 100 just for this test we'll be able to utilize that last 10 percent so let me go ahead and get luba on the charger down there and we'll see how much juice luba actually uses we're only getting four watts right now maybe that's because it is uh charged up as much as it can okay so i got a screen recording going here we'll just set that aside we'll get luba's big heavy butt out of here Go ahead and set it here on its charger. Wipe off the pins since I'm here. How's those look? Yeah, they're pretty dusty. Wipe off that IR window. Pins are fine. Alright, let's roll Luba back. Do not have the flashy light, so I didn't do a good job. Let's pull it forward again. Oh, hey, I know why it's not have. I know why this isn't working. Did not turn on this power switch here. <laughs> there we go. Now Luba is powering up. You can see here on the screen recording is using 158 156 watts so we'll just uh, whew, it is very hot out here guys I am sweating like a pig so we will uh, go ahead and let this continue charging here until it's full and we will see how much that takes out of the EcoFlow battery. So I got out this second solar panel and I just set it here while I was uh, looking up here to see how I was going to do it. And then I'm like thinking, huh, I could just build a house for Luba made out of solar panels. I'm not going to do that, but I could do it especially with those hard solar panels like the big ones I have at my house you could make like a little triangle shape right here and just have it have them leaning against each other I mean just do something super simple Alright guys, so here we are at the one hour mark. Now, I don't know exactly how long this has been charging because I didn't look at the clock when I started charging the Luba, but the screen recording has been going for one hour, so that's close enough for me. So you can see here on the screen, let's get out my little pencil here, 
we are down to 125 watts it is still inputting 10 watts here and we have been in a downward motion on the input power for I don't know I haven't really been paying attention at least the last 15 or 20 minutes so you can see here on the screen we are up to 70% battery so that was 0% and now we're up to 70% so this EcoFlow battery here has taken the Luba from 0% all the way up to 70% and it still hasn't taken 1% out of the battery yet so I'm not going to bother setting up uh, another solar panel because I really don't think we're going to need it. Let's go ahead here and do the pull forward test. Just for a second, you can see the poor positioning status. Why? It had positioning status like literally until I did this. Normal. Okay. We're, we're getting there now. Manually control the Luba five feet forward. I'm on the selfie cam, so I, you can't really see that. So we're going to go five feet forward. And there we go. Now I'm just going to bring Luba back. And I'm going to manually hit the go home button. It's going to get here on its little welcome home mat, and it's going to go back home. We've popped right back up to 125 watts on the charger. Let's flip back over to the other app real quick. Here is the other app here. You can see it is still at 90%. So somehow, Luba Charging did not use any of the battery on the EcoFlow. Of course... It's charging a little bit at the same time. We didn't just have an immaculate conception here. Uh, there, it did use energy, obviously. All right, so this solar experiment, I'm gonna call it a success. I'm gonna leave it just plugged into the solar here. The only thing is the EcoFlow can't get wet. So I'll just have to pay attention to the weather. If it looks like it's gonna be rainy, we're gonna have to protect the EcoFlow somehow. I'm pretty sure the solar panel over here uh, getting wet isn't going to hurt it. It's just going to continue to do its thing over there whether it's wet or not. This front yard's looking good. Those nice straight lines, not bad at all. The backyard looks good as well. I'm very happy with uh, the Luba. I know I have some problems, like it gets stuck sometimes. I have some software issues, but really, in the grand scheme of things, it's a little bit more difficult for me than other people because I don't live here. This is my parents' house. I live 40 miles away. But if you're living, if it's your house that Luba's mowing, no big deal. If it gets stuck, you just come out and unstuck it. <laughs> is that a word, unstuck it? So I'm going to go ahead and call it an end to this video. I am going to go ahead and remap some of that center area over there and keep it from possibly getting stuck again on that old trampoline. Alright guys, thanks for watching this solar experiment episode. Pretty easy to do. Off the shelf items. I'll leave uh, links in the description to the things that I got. The EcoFlow battery pack is kind of pricey but they make cheaper versions of that same thing if you're getting enough solar input i don't think you need a battery pack as big as my ecoflow back there and it's 700 watt hours i even heck i brought my big battery pack we saw it earlier that's like two or three kilowatt hours of storage it's quite a quite a lot so we definitely don't need that. We didn't need those giant solar panels. We just got a portable, fold upable solar panel and a off the shelf EcoFlow Delta Pro and it's doing its thing back there. 
So thanks for watching this experiment, and I will see y'all in the next one. Instead of goofing around with Luba, we're going to go out here real quick and take care of this one line it missed. Man, look at this beautiful lawn. I know other people's lawn is better, but for us, because we don't water or feed or seed or weed or anything, this is just all-natural Oklahoma Bermuda weeds. Not bad. Let's see, we want this one. Here we go. One swipe and we'll be done. And that was it. Duck, it's hot out here. What are you following me for? <laughs> there we go. Full power. Come on, duck, it's hot out there. There he comes. Come on, buddy. It's hot. <laughs> All right, one last look at the yard. Man, that's a thing of beauty right there. Thanks for watching this episode. It really is over now. It, I won't come back. You will not see me again, I promise. Editor Crazy Postman here. Yeah, I lied. Sorry about that. But this is really the last time. So it's been a few hours since I got home. I've been editing this video. You can see here the the battery has now gone down to 80%. And it kind of has a base load of around 15 watts. So it'll bounce around between 15 watts, 10 watts, 5 watts, and then back up to 15 watts. When it's not actively charging you can see that graph there at the bottom the highest is 15 and the lowest is zero so it just kind of bounces around so it does use quite a bit of energy just sitting idle so not sure if uh, the battery will be able to handle this it's uh, down to 80 percent so just handling the base load has caused it to go down by 10 percent and you can see the estimation on the screen here, one day and 19 hours. So between the base load and charging, it might not be able to handle it. We'll let it run for a few days and I will see if it can do it or not. I may have to add more batteries or more solar panels or both. All right, thanks for watching this episode. I am really done now. I will see y'all in the next one.